The end of suffering. Do you believe that you can live the life in pure joy, inner peace and serenity? Or do you feel that no matter what we will be suffering and that's how life is? Well, let me tell you, we can heal and we can suffer less and less. I know myself, I used to suffer a lot coming from my background of being abused and feeling not good enough, feeling unworthy. I was even feeling unworthy to be alive to the day where I'm today, where I'm teaching other people and I'm guiding and I'm facilitating healing for others to release that suffering. It's a big journey that I took and this journey I put at the feet of anyone who wants to join me for Becoming Truly Free Retreat where we undo any patterns of suffering. If you think of your life and you think on a day-to-day -day basis, you can ask yourself in the evening, today did I live more in suffering or more in inner peace? And then you can look it over a week, you can look it over a month, and you can see for yourself, are you suffering inner peace 50-50, 80-20, 20-80, what it is. And if you are really willing to go all the way to become the best person that you can be, to find enlightenment, which is the end of suffering, then you got to do some work on discovering what else is holding you back. And this is easy when you see what's happening around you and what triggers you. So a person can trigger you, a person you work with, an employee, a client, an event can trigger you. When you see those triggers, if you take the time to journal and understand, if this triggered me, what from the past made me have this trigger? This is how you start to undo and to heal and to be able to live more and more in a peaceful state of mind. And of course, if you feel called, join, join the Becoming Truly Free Retreat because I am leading people through the process of discovering what's holding them back. The end of suffering for me was a big question when I grew up in a, in a family where my parents used to fight all the time. I always ask myself like, why can these people just be at peace and, and love each other? And of course, we know that not all relationships are meant for the people to stay together, but finding peace is either you stay together and you find a peaceful way of being or you decide to part ways. But my inner, like that child in me that was very empathic, I always were very empathic, but I didn't know at the time. I really wanted them to not suffer anymore. I wanted them to be happy and to be at peace. So I started at a very young age to be this kind of coach or whatever you want to call it, uh, practical psychologist and trying to understand what would work. But of course I couldn't. Uh, I was too young and too inexperienced. I couldn't. So I became very angry as a as a uh, teenager, I became very angry and very rebellious, which actually was good for me because it allowed me to maintain my identity. It allowed me to not fully believe all those. You're good for nothing. You will amount to nothing. You're not uh, able to, to do much in life. And this anger that I had, it really helped me stay the path and say, no, I know who I am and I know what I want. Of course, maybe I knew or maybe I didn't know, but I did follow my path and I went to university and then I followed my path further into coming to Canada. And then I followed my path further, like to leave my corporate career and, and doing uh, this business entrepreneur enlightenment and, and taking this journey where I help others 
out of suffering and into enlightenment so in this retreat this is the hardest retreat for me to promote actually not to lead but to promote because it is a bit vulnerable i put my entire life at the feet of the participants i share from my memoir i share feelings that i felt and because through my sharing participants discover their own and this is how they heal but what i understood yesterday i had a healing session for myself and uh, one of my dear friends and, and companions on this enlightenment journey is uh, the energy of jesus and it's not, I'm not religious, it's a spiritual concept, but Jesus was the person who was able to forgive and have compassion, no matter what was happening to him. So the energy of Jesus came yesterday in my healing session and reminded me the first few times when I did this retreat, uh, he came to me in my dreams and said to me, teach people how not to throw stones teach people how not to feel victimized and and this is what this retreat is about owning your story yes you have been hurt yes people shouldn't have hurt you but becoming your own authority figure empowering yourself to say i do not want to be a victim i do not no matter what happened to me I don't want to be a victim. I want my own one person, own person, one person. I want to be my authority and I want to live life on my terms. So when you release the past, when you release the victimhood, you can achieve whatever you put your mind to. So I hope this inspires you to go on your journey, find what uh, upsets you, what triggers you, and then start to heal those and if you feel called to join me for the retreat where i put my whole life at your feet it will be my absolute pleasure and honor to be your guide